this is some of my Han mowers that I have here. This one here, I'm gonna get running. I have parts for it. This has the plastic handle, the power or clutch handle. This one here is the same as that one, but that one's in running condition, and this one is in running condition. So these two run great. This one actually needs just a little bit more carb cleaning and maybe a couple uh, uh, parts for the carb to you know to start up real good. But this one starts up right away. This one here is just a parts mower. It's got a great deck. Um, I do have another engine for that. Uh, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Um, the handlebar is like if you're looking at that one right there is broken right here so I can either get it welded from somebody I know I got I actually got a friend that welds and he could weld a plate on there and then I got put that handlebar back together so that one there was self propelled now I used the gearbox on this one put on that one so to make one good running mower on there so this one I might just use for parts or just use it for a push mower I'm not sure. I might. I, I think I might just take the gearbox off of there and put it on there and make two nice 21 inch self propelleds. This one and that one. But again, that one's running good. Starts on the third, fourth, fifth time. Needs a little bit more car work done, but it cuts really well. I have the bagger for it and you know the plate, so you can put the plate on there to cut right now, or you could just take that plate off and put the bagger on. So I have all the stuff for that. This one here, I don't have a bagger or a plate. So this one I think I'm just going to use for parts. Break this down eventually. Because what I could do is just take this handle off then. And then put it on this mower. And not worry about getting it welded on there. And then take the gearbox off of here. And put it on there. So. Alright, there you go. So then I'll have three mowers, three Han mowers soon will be working and one is parts and I have a couple more uh, not in the picture here, not in the video so there you go there's the four Hans they came out in the 60's I believe and lasted to the 80's bravely bought them out now this is not, these are not Eclipse so I have, I used to have a couple Han Eclipse last year That I believe is four horsepower. I believe that's four horsepower. Let me see. Uh, I think so. And then that one over there is three and a half horsepower. There you go. This is the collection of the Hans. If anybody finds them, they're great mowers. This was a better set up right here for the clutch because it lasts a lot longer it's all metal and as you can see when I let it go it tightens the belt and then when I click it up right here it loosens the belt so very simple self-propelled operation belts are still available these right here I don't really like these because they break I mean, you got the plastic pins and actually the stopper, so this stops right about there, is broken right there. It's just a little bugger thing that they put up as a piece of plastic, which is ridiculous. They knew that you keep using this all the time, but you could, you could put something there to stop this from going all the way like that. So, there you go. And then this one has it. Here's the booger right there, see it? That's the little booger that stops this thing from going in, so that won't go in anymore. Pull that one up. 
drops that. So when you want to go, it tightens up the belt. But what a stupid, stupid idea. I mean, a fantastic lawnmower, but a stupid setup on the self-propelled. They should have kept the metal uh, clutch right here. This was like, all you had to do was put a little bit of oil here, a little bit of penetrating oil here, you know, and just clicks right up. Lift it up and push that down. Unbelievable. But they had to change that. Maybe that's why they went out of business, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just don't understand this plastic crap. And that was done probably 79, 80, 81. There you go.